This is a help video to show you how to use the interactive Island County Parcel Viewer. The Parcel Viewer app can show you where parcels are. You can search by parcel number, property ID, or owner. The GIS parcel data is linked to PACS, the Assessor's Office database, SmartGov's permitting database, and the Groundwater database. Together, they can show you the Assessor's Office data, as built and other permitting data, as well as the water source of each parcel. So in this first video, I'll go over how to search by parcel, the measuring tools, changing the background of the map, printing, and finding more help and information about the map. In a second video for this application, I'll go over how to use the Draw widget, which draws and annotates on the map, as well as using the Selection widget, which selects parcels and can even export the parcel data to a spreadsheet. So when you first open up the map, you're going to get a splash screen that explains all the widgets and how they work. You can go ahead and hit OK. On the left-hand side, the basic navigation of the map can be done by using this zooming in plus sign or zooming out minus. You can click on the home button to go to the default extent that the map was first opened with and this is a GPS button. So assuming you're on a mobile device with the GPS enabled, you can just click on this and it'll take you exactly to where you're located. You can type in an address here. I'm going to start typing in the county's address. You typically have to go to the city, but it will take me right there. I can also start typing in a parcel number and it'll help try to fill that out for me which is kind of helpful and then you can just click on that and it'll take you right to the parcel. Over here on the right hand side I have a binoculars button. This is where I can search by parcel number again. I can search by property ID or I search by name. So by parcel number I'm going to make sure I type it in just as with the capital S or the capital R and then I'm going to hit apply and it's going to take me right to that. So I'm going to go back and you can do the same thing if you want to search by property ID. Remember this is just the numbers and now if I wanted to search by name I usually tell folks to use a last name. It's one of those um, less is more sort of thing but I'll show you you just type in and then hit apply. Um, I can also zoom in if I know that it's Island County and it's somewhere around here. I can go back and I can just use a spatial filter and hit apply and it'll only show Island County in this area. So that's using the binocular button. To measure, I'm going to click on this measurement tool. This is to measure area and this is to measure lines. So to measure area, I'm going to pick the units that I want to measure in and I'll stick with acres. Zoom in on the map and now I click to add a point, release, click to add a point for each vertex and then when you're getting ready to finish you double click and it'll tell you the, the um, size of that. I do the same thing with distance. I'm going to click and then double click to release. This third button is the base map gallery. So by default most of our Island County maps will have the aerial background but you can change that. Um, these other backgrounds, these other um, base maps that have a little logo in them mean it's using the Island County data. So this Island County topographic um, background will have the Island County contours as well as our high resolution LIDAR. This is the layer list button. This is where I can turn layers on and off. Now remember when I click on the map I'm going to get a pop-up and each layer that's turned on is going to show here. So right now I'm looking at the quarter sections. Um, there's a link here that would take me to that PDF map and I can click this little drop down, this little carrot, and this will give me the parcel information. So most of pop-ups are enabled so there's even more links to take you to more information. So if I click this little logo it's going to take me to the assessor's office um, portal on that specific parcel. I can do the same thing with this link is going to take me to the SmartGov permitting and it's going to show me information about that parcel. Um, right here is the water source for each parcel. So this is just the parcel pop-up. Now my plats layer, if I click on that, which it looks like this is in a plat, I get one of three. So again I have the parcel information but I also have plats and this is actually a link to the original plat map. So a lot of information just in this um, one web map. So that's turning layers on and off. This is the print button. 
this is actually going to format what I'm looking at into a nicely um, formatted PDF. So it has a default name here, and I'm going to hit print, but know that I can change that if I wanted to. And on this um, PDF, it's going to have a, um, like a scale and a legend, and it's just nicely formatted, and you'll see that. And so I can save this. This is the legend button. It pretty much just tells you all the layers that are checked on and how they're symbolized. And this last button is the help button. This is, has links for um, a help video on this application as well as our YouTube channel with the advanced video um, and the web app details. So that's using the new Island County Parcel Viewer app.